When you're a victim of domestic abuse, your job can be so important to you. It's the last thing that you want to lose. It's your little bit of independence. It's your time away from an abusive household. My name is Jackie Kilburn and I manage the National Training Centre at Women's Aid Federation England. At Women's Aid, we deliver a lot of training and if you're training social workers, that's different to training police officers, different to training health professionals, because if they don't have that understanding, they don't give the right response. When it comes to who we train and who is it really important to get the message across to, I will say everyone, because everyone is part of that equation. Managers and colleagues that work within companies um, can support victims of domestic abuse that are employed by them in all sorts of different ways. One of the things that we do talk about on the training is if a colleague comes to you and asks what to do because they suspect that their friend at work or their colleague is experiencing abuse at home. What we do on the training is give people the information to deal with that in a way that doesn't threaten the survivor. So what we will say is, if that person is distressed or upset and you be, or late for work and you believe it's because of the fact that they're living with abuse, it's okay to say things like, is everything okay at home? I've noticed that you've been really unhappy lately, your, your concentration isn't as it was. Is there anything that I can support you with? I'd really like to help you. The reason that we're working with the Caring Foundation, which has been a partnership for several years now, is because they have a true passion and belief that their businesses should respond to domestic abuse in the most effective way and that they should support their workforce in doing it. We train various people that work within their brands on how to respond to domestic abuse. We train them in how, when you're getting up in the morning and going to work and living through domestic abuse, how that can impact on your work performance, on your behavior at work, and most importantly, how to support them. Changing hearts and minds and people's perceptions um, is a massive thing for me. Next year, 2001, it will be 30 years that I've worked in the domestic violence sector. And I have to say that if you can use the word enjoy, I've enjoyed every minute of working in the domestic violence sector and supporting victims of domestic abuse.